Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we have a brand new figure unboxing video. I'm very excited for this one. I've been waiting a hot minute for these guys to come in to give you an idea of how long I've been waiting. I ordered these guys on April 16th and the date that I'm filming this is May 10th and I got them yesterday. So you can see that I've been waiting a hot minute for these guys. Now, you can probably tell already that these are Dragon Ball Heroes. Let me start opening these up as I'm talking here. Um, we'll look at all of the boxes and everything. We are going to go a little bit quickly since we got a bunch of them to go over. But this is the first volume of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes um, World Collectible... Is it called World? Yeah, World Collectible Figure Collection. Um, these are pretty cool. We opened one figure from this, um, not series, but this line before, that being the Vegeta that's actually right there in the back. Um, and they're basically just like mini figures. Um, and they're really cool, really well made. But Super Dragon Ball Heroes, you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a little bit, you know I love um, Super Dragon Ball Heroes and Dragon Ball Heroes and all that. Um, and when I found out that they had these guys as um, figures, like these little mini figures, um, and seeing how good the quality was on that Vegeta, I was like, yo, I gotta pick these up. Um, so we'll go over everything that's in here in a second. Um, now for pricing, I will leave a place where you can pick these up in the description below if I can find it, um, because they are kind of hard to find it seems, um, and I would honestly recommend buying them in bulk, kind of like I did, um, unless you're only looking for one character, but if you're like me, you want them all, um, but I did get these guys for $47, which sounds like a lot, but I got them all for $47, which honestly is not a bad price because they can be like just $15 by themselves all the way up to like 20 or more individually. So for um, for all these guys um, together, 47 bucks was definitely not a bad deal at all. Also, I didn't even notice this until I was looking at the boxes, but if you put them all together like this, they make a picture, so that's super dope. So as you can see here, we have um, five characters in this set. We have Super Saiyan God Note, Base Form Xeno Goku, Mass Saiyan My Boy right there, Xeno Trunks, and Darkness Toa. So that is pretty cool. Let's turn all these guys. Um, as you can see, this side of the box is all the same here. Um, by the way, this is only Volume 1 of this series. There's three volumes that have been announced. Um, I do have Volume 3 on pre-order, but it's been kind of hard to find Volume 2 for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of weird that 2 in the middle would be the one that's hard to find. Here's the back, by the way, just Japanese text on all of them. But I am going to get Volume 2 at some point, so keep an eye out for the next two volumes of this because I will open those on the channel as well. Um, but they're not even like released yet. You can only pre-order them. Um, but here is, of course, the um, figures on the side there. Very cool little preview of them. I like that they just kind of zoom in on the front view. That's super dope. Um, see if you look at Toa there like that. And then it's just kind of the zoomed in version of that. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's just like the picture in high quality HD. So that's pretty dope. Um, I might try and like display these somewhere because the picture is really cool. By the way, the top of all of them, they've all just got the um, World Collectible Figure logo and then the official Toei Animation sticker. By the way, these are by Bampresto. All right, so let's take a look at these. I guess we'll just go from one to five and uh, we'll take a look at the Super Saiyan God notes first. Um, now the main reason, oh, also this has a little like hangy thing that you can hang it on a... Uh, like hang it in the store or something that's interesting um the main reason why i wanted to get these is because well a you all know that i love super dragon ball heroes and b um they tend to make some characters in different series as smaller figures and they don't make them as bigger figures um i don't know why that is maybe just because they figure like you know no pun intended they figure that the um the, the uh more like you know not as popular characters um will you know maybe like they won't sell as well you know like obviously we have like five million goku figures um so you know maybe they figure that um the you know like the lesser popular characters won't sell as well so you know they obviously want them to make them figures though because they know people will still buy them because they're fans of them 
um, so then they make them smaller. I don't know if that's their thinking, but I know that like a lot of these, like there's not a big note figure like there is um, with that beat that we've already unboxed on the channel in the past. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I did want to get a note because obviously they are both the protagonists. By the way, if you don't, didn't know that, the female protagonist of Dragon Ball Heroes, her name is Note, um, and the male protagonist, his name is Beat. Um, so just in case you didn't know that. Is there a hole in this one? Yes, there is. That's pretty handy, so I don't actually have to cut it this time. I mean, I would either way, but just don't want to break the figure there. Uh, there is unfortunately no hole for that one, though. So we're just going to have to pierce it with the thing. That works pretty well. Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, just because we're going to be going over the whole set here. Uh, let me just shove this plastic uh, back in the box here, and then we'll be good to go. Alright. See, so yeah, I don't know what I'll do with the boxes, but it is really cool that they all make a picture. Ah, I dropped the note box. All right, so let's take a look at note here. Ooh, the tail already, I can tell, is a little bit loose. Yeah, look at that. A little bit loose, but that's okay. Definitely really well made. As you can see, she's got like a, ah, kind of like, you know, shooting a key blast type of pose. Can you focus for me, camera? Eh, sort of. There we go. Look at that. Very well made. I love these. These are so cool. I, I do have to figure out where I'm going to put them, though. The stand is the only thing that I really don't like about this line, because it's literally just this, like, plastic peg that kind of just shoves in here. Um, on the bottom as well, it's just uh, made in China, as well as some other text. I don't know if you can even see what that is. There you go. Um, it does say uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes um, WC1, so that's cool that it tells you the number in the set, um, just in case you want to put the, you know, the that you really are, you know, care about putting the stand... Um, with the correct one. I don't know if the tail comes out. It kind of looks like it does because it kind of looks like there's a hole there. I'm not going to try though, um, but that is the note figure. That is really cool. I like that they have her kind of fly in there. Um, that's pretty dope actually. I really like that one. Super cool. All right. And they did a good job of uh, the Super Saiyan God hair too. It's kind of more so that like pinkish more tone that we saw on the, um, the big beat figure as well. That kind of almost more reminds me of like a weirder rosé i don't know either way though still very well made um and we're gonna hop into goku now so that was actually really cool i'm glad that they made note because i feel like beat gets a lot more love uh, than note does unfortunately even though they're both really cool characters um if you guys don't know there are a couple um dragon ball heroes manga um specifically there is one called victory mission that focuses a lot on um beaten note like as actual characters and there's a really cool story like so much of a story that i didn't know dragon ball heroes had i think i talked about it in the past video but i figured i might as well mention it again you can find it online in english all the chapters um aren't in english yet unfortunately because it was like a fan translation um but they do have every chapter that's out right now in japanese obviously um so if you want to go check that out you can maybe i'll see if i can uh find that again and link it in the description is there a hole for goku here yes there is um oh i can already see something that i don't like about this one and that's it goku's power pole is a little bit bent but you know, i'll just move these to the side um no point in putting them together just to elongate the video that is super cool bro they did a great job with that goku that's really cool i really like that so as you can see here the power pole is kind of bent that's kind of unfortunate um, it's really just that one end. Maybe I can kind of just bend it back into place. Oh, well, <laughs> that worked better than I thought it was going to. That's pretty cool, though. I love that they made a Xeno Goku um, in his base form because they definitely uh, they definitely need to make more uh, Xeno Goku figures because the outfit is so cool. I know a lot of people in the community really like it. Interesting that this one is kind of slanted down for the stand and the um, the note one was kind of slanted up. Where does this go in? Oh, it goes in his pants. Interesting. Um, obviously, he's kind of like flying forward there and his cloak is um, flying up in the wind. By the way, remember I talked about that I would um, buy right away if they made a Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Goku? Well, one of these in the upcoming sets is actually Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Goku, so that's super dope. They Bandai, or not Bandai, Banpresto heard my prayers. But anyway... This is the Xeno Goku, very cool. Obviously, you know, it's the same outfit as the big Super Saiyan one we unboxed in the past. Pretty cool. It is a little bit shaky because, you know, the stand is literally just this kind of heavy figure um, on this little plastic pole here. But that's okay. When you have him on the shelf, it's not going to, you know, do much. These guys aren't really for playing. They're more so for collecting. Um, 
I think you could kind of tell that by now, but uh, you know, just figured I'd mention it anyway. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can have them there. Um, let me grab my oof, not Toa yet. Here, let me actually rearrange these so I stop putting them out of order. All right, so now Mass Saiyan. This is going to be awesome. You guys know I love a Mass Saiyan. Obviously, he is the main inspiration for the, uh, the channel, like, mascot. Um, and obviously he's on the freaking like channel banner and the mask is on the, the logo and stuff So every mass Saiyan figure that I can get my hands on uh, I will gladly take just like the one that's in the background of the video right now All right, which we unboxed on the channel before too. All right So let's get this dude out of here ah, I do really again. I really like the design of these boxes Boxes, I, I'm a big fan of boxes, to be honest with you. So when, when like, a uh, something makes a good box, I, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying even just the boxes, too. All right, um, let's open this. Oh, super strength. All right, so by the way, for the, uh, the stands, they all just say the same thing on the bottom. It's just the little, um, you know, World Figure Coliseum number, and then obviously it says Super Dragon Ball Heroes. So here's something interesting about this guy that I'm noticing right off the bat, right? The red eye is a lot more um, defined than on the other one. Maybe it's just because the other figure is so big and the eye is not as big and obviously these are a little bit more chibi. Um, but you can definitely tell that like that red eye is a lot more prominent on this one. Still very cool though. Um, on the box, does it look that red? No, it looks, I don't know, maybe it's just because of the coloring they use, but it looks a little bit, like, darker to me than this kind of sort of brighter red, but still very cool. Um, I do really like this. They did a great job with it. Because remember on that one, I thought it looked kind of cartoony in the pictures, um, but they did a great job in the end. I mean, that's usually what happens when it comes to figures. I'll be like, you know... I'll be a little bit skeptical and then I'll enjoy it. Also, can we talk about my mans? Those muscles. Oh my gosh. The same kind of design with the back of the Saiyan armor. Um, the same as the big one from the other uh, Mass Saiyan that we unboxed before. Same thing where the little bit of the bandana is coming out there. And you can only see it like on the hair on the front. Um, so interesting that they're kind of sticking with the same design. I'm sure that they um, took inspiration from the other one. All right. So he is actually, uh, is he standing? I guess he's like, his, yeah, his toes are actually touching the, um, the base. So that's kind of interesting. The other ones are a lot more floaty. I wonder if they just couldn't, um, I wonder if they couldn't like get, um, a stand that like, you know, how notes is like up. I wonder if this guy was a little bit too heavy for that. And that's why they decided to go with, um, him being a little bit more, you know, like, uh, grounded as opposed to up in the air. Um, you can't really, he's not really leaning forward in the picture, um, as much as he is there. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if I try maybe like note stand, um, since hers is kind of more like upright facing, um, and then see if that maybe makes him look like he's floating a little bit more. Um, I can try it, but I won't do it on video because obviously, uh, I don't want the a figure unboxing to be over 20 minutes and we're already at like the 15 minute mark. Mm. It's just because we obviously are unboxing the entire set here and not just focusing on one. Come on, there we go. I also don't want to ruin the box since I keep talking about how much I love them. I obviously don't want to like cut them up or anything. All right. Oh, by the way, if you didn't um, know, that's just what the flaps say. That's the same thing on all of them as well. All right, so this is the trunks. This is probably the one I'm the least excited for just because, I don't know, trunks like base form. I mean, at least it's the long hair. That's pretty cool. Um, but you know, like Xeno Goku and Mass Saiyan and Super Saiyan God No are a little bit more exciting than Trunks in my opinion, but hey Still very cool nonetheless. Ooh, this is a really tiny stand, bro. That is a really tiny stand. All right, um So he already looks pretty good For what I'm seeing in the bag. Can we get my boy out here? There we go All right, so let's throw that to the side Okay, so this is actually probably honestly well He has the most like complicated design in terms of his clothes And I think they did a fantastic job considering the other ones are pretty simplistic in terms of the clothing design They did a really good job getting a, Ooh, even the sword is really well done really like that 
um all of like the detail on the front of his uh xeno outfit is really good um i like the ponytail too they did a great job with that as well okay all right i'm a little bit more impressed he's maybe also the only one that could well, well he kind of stands up on his own but not really um that's obviously why they include the stand i mean like the whole series has the stand so they can't not include it for him but uh like he was probably the only one who could maybe stand on his own maybe besides toa also this is not going in am i is it wait i was gonna say does it go in this way and i'm like what the heck why is this not going in nani the stand is like not going in all right let me cut oh wait actually never mind i was just gonna say let me cut and get it in but i just kind of pushed really hard and i got it in also what's interesting is that i noticed that they all um say wc1 on the bottom will you focus enough for me to see that there you go saying that it's the first volume of these as opposed to like the number in the figure collection so that's kind of interesting all right so uh oh my gosh we gotta like adjust that a little bit i'll, I'll fix it later but he's kind of like off the stand there as you can see but still very cool um, I honestly like them a little bit better without the stand, but obviously the, uh, the line kind of demands it with, uh, you know, how they look and everything. Um, so that, now we're on to our last one, which is the Darkness Toa here. Um, very cool though. I'm very impressed with, um, like, honestly, I'm always really impressed with smaller figures. Um, just because, like, when they do a really good job of them, because, you know, like, smaller figures can be really, uh, you know, like, non-detailed and not bootleg looking, but, like, they can just look kind of eh just because, you know, they don't have as much room to work with as they do on, like, a, a full-sized figure. Um, but these, uh, everything that I've unboxed in this line so far has impressed me a lot um, in terms of the detail. I think they've done a pretty fantastic job with that. Um, all right. Let's open up the Darkness Toa now. The only reason I'm kind of excited... Ooh, her little uh, staff comes separate. Is because, like, this is a character that is uh, original to Dragon Ball Heroes, of course. Um, Toa is. There is a Mira as well in an upcoming set of this, so I am excited to get him too. Um, but yeah, it's cool because, like, this is like, you know... Well, I mean, I guess Note is also a, uh, a Dragon Ball Heroes original character, but uh, you know what I mean. Toa was one of the, or she's like the OG uh, Dragon Ball Heroes villain. Um, I, mean, eh, I mean, I guess she was technically in Dragon Ball Online first and then Xenoverse, but I don't know. Darkness Toa is a thing, um, as far as I know anyway, that is just exclusive to um, Dragon Ball Heroes. All right. Where'd I put the box for her? Oh, there she is. Okay. All right. So she, let's see if she can stand on her own. No, she can't. Her feet are so small. Holy cow, look at those. Although the figure is so nice. Oh my gosh, they did a fantastic job with this. Um, the dress is really nice, actually. It's it's kind of like more hard plastic, which is good. Um, sometimes for stuff like that, they do weird stuff with uh, flowy material like that. They did a fantastic job on her hair as well. I don't know why she's holding out her pinky right there. Wait, if you can focus for me, maybe? No? Yeah, there you go. She's holding out her pinky, which is kind of funny. But they did a really good job on her, honestly. Um, that is pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. All right, so maybe... Oh, okay, so this just slides in here like this? Because there's a little hole in the hand. I'm assuming that's where it goes anyway. It would only make sense, right? All right, so maybe you're meant to uh, straighten this out. You got to be careful, too. Um, the, the arm is very thin, as you can see. Um, so since it's so loose, you got to be careful that you don't uh, break it off when you're putting that on on um, the staff as well is straight so maybe they mean for you to kind of like straighten it out because in the picture it is a little bit more uh straighter than it is here all right so with a little bit of bending i'm sure you could get it to work um there we go that's a lot better right there already um so that's pretty cool they did a really good job with their staff as well i wish the material was a little bit more solid so that it wasn't as bendy like this like you could literally like make loops with this thing but Still pretty cool nonetheless. I'll have to work on that off camera because obviously that'll take a little bit of a minute to kind of get that how I really want it to look. Um, but they did a good job with her, definitely. Um, still very cool though. This stand as well is pretty short. Um, the ones that are standing up have really short stands. I guess that makes sense though. All right, so let's push her on. She is one of the harder ones to put on the stand. Okay, so she's like leaning at a really weird angle though. Uh, maybe I'll loosen the stand a little bit. 
so she can there we go because i don't want her like feet to bend forward um obviously you want her feet to be firmly planted on the ground there we go all right that's better perfect all right cool so that actually looks really dope i'll have to work on because as you can see this is like bent to heck in a hand basket um so that's probably the only thing i don't like about all these guys to be honest is toa staff being that bendy material is kind of frustrating just because it's you know like i don't know i felt like they could have just made it straight and have it just stuck in there but maybe they didn't want it to break so they made it that little bit of bendy material so you know if it like you know got bent in the box it wouldn't break so that's good at least but either way though guys that's gonna do for this video i know this was a little bit of a longer one um but i wanted to open all of these guys in one video they're so awesome i really like these little figures um like i said even though they are kind of expensive um like i said i got these guys all for like 48 bucks um and or 47 bucks in total excuse me on ebay um like i said it's worth it because each of them can be like from 10 to fit like 10 would be the low ball price that i would like to pay but they're usually 15 bucks um like this vegeta in the back that we've opened before i got him for 15 dollars um so getting them for all around 10 bucks each even a little bit less than that is a really good deal um i will look again for places that you can buy these guys online um i'll see because like i said they're kind of hard to find right now i'll also see where i can find set two and pick that up as well because i already have set three pre-ordered for when that comes out but keep an eye out for those videos hope you enjoyed more figure unboxings to come in the future i got a bardock coming in pretty soon so that'll be pretty cool uh and i will catch you guys in the next one if i get you out peace